guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys all enjoyed my very first YouTube video that I filmed like a week ago. So today I'm going to talk about my acne and Accutane journey. I started having acne back in middle school and all the way up through high school. And my acne got worse and these past two years it was at its worst. And that's when it was really affecting me, especially when I was out with my friends. And I just felt really insecure inside no matter what my friends told me. The worst part was that people would actually come up to me when I was out and tell me what I should do or what I should use. There were some times that it bothered me. One sad story was a couple years ago, I was at my sister's dance show and this lady starts talking to me about my acne and she just had advice for my face. And she gave me her number and so I can call her the next day, which I clearly didn't call her the next day because why am I going to call a stranger? Who talks to strangers? Duh. And she was really sweet about it and nice, but for some reason that just really bothered me and I started crying. My best friend, hey Jess, noticed that I was crying and now that I think about it, it's really funny, but she took me outside and we started like walking around and she tried making me feel better. That was a time when I, I didn't want to be talked to about my face because if someone comes up to me to talk to me about my face, it just shows how bad it actually was. Which isn't a good way to think, but I mean, what else am I gonna think? Like, I know everyone that tried talking to me was out of good intention. I just got kind of used to it though. But a really funny time was when I was out at the mall with three of my friends, um, Diana and Claire, hi guys. And we were in this like photo shop and this old lady comes up to me and if I remember the story correctly, she like pulled me to the side and tries to talk to me about my face and I believe she told me to put urine on my face because she used to do it or something weird. But the way that it all happened and the way that she just kind of like pulled me was just really funny and kind of like weird and really random. That lady just kind of had guts to like talk to me like that. This time the lady definitely did not make me cry, she made me laugh. So yeah, acne was just a really big struggle for me. I couldn't go out without wearing makeup. And even makeup still couldn't make me feel pretty enough, but it was something that helped me. Now I'm going to talk about how Accutane was and how much it affected me. I want to do Accutane because I would watch videos on YouTube of people who have used it and how clear their face got. Okay, calm down, bird. Calm down. I started Accutane in April and I finished um, this past September and it was kind of hard for me to take this pill because I hated taking pills and I took it for about five months. Usually people take it for six months or more or less, it depends on how bad your face is. For a couple months I was fine, I was alright, but this past summer when I would take my pill at night, I'd wake up in the middle of the night feeling sick and eventually I would just throw up. I just felt weak and it was a horrible feeling and I would take 40 milligrams in the morning and 40 milligrams at night. And the new dermatologist I go to now actually told me that I shouldn't have been taking 40 milligrams a day, 40 milligrams a night, because that was too much. But anyway, I did it, I'm here, I'm fine. Some of the other side effects that I had was back pain. Also, I would get these rashes on my um, arms, and they weren't as gross or as bad as you might think they were, but thank God they went away. I just have little um, white spots on my skin, which is okay, they're not noticeable. But overall, I'm happy that I finished with Accutane. I'm happy that I actually did it. It didn't give me the results that I wanted, but I'm really happy that my face has gotten so much better. And I continue to work on clearing up my face even more. And truth be told, no one is perfect. No one's face is perfect. If you're lucky with clear skin, then just make sure you take care of your skin. And no matter what anyone says, just know that you are truly beautiful. People around you will make sure you know that you feel beautiful all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Until next time, bye. It's for the longest... Oh god. Sorry, I'm just flying. <laughs> the bird. A bird is flying in the room. Whoa! Whoa! Food was my... Whoa! I hope you guys all enjoyed my very first video that I posted like about a week ago. Just kidding, I don't know if it was a week ago or something like that, but whatever. Yes, I know. I know. I'm wearing another plaid shirt. It's a 